Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial we're going to be modeling a site plan in Revit. So in this video I'm going to be using the topo surface tool to create an uneven topo surface with a bunch of different heights and on this uneven topo surface I'm going to be placing a road with a sidewalk and a realistic looking curb. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. So let's get started. Here I have this just a blank house placed over here and here I have just some parking area in front of it and we're going to be placing a road over here. So let's just go to site plan to model our site. So I'm going to go here to massing and site tab and you have this topo surface tool and I'm going to select it and now our house is on level 1 which is 0, 0.00. So we're going to be starting from that. So I'm just going to go here for elevation and let's just leave it at 0 and I'm going to place one point here, one point here and then I'm just going to kind of place points around the house like so. Maybe one more here and here. Okay, so we kind of have an evened out surface for our house. Now I'm going to type in minus three meters for this part over here. So I'm just going to place a bunch of points over here. And then let's do the same thing over here. A few points like that. And then let's go to minus six meters for perhaps something over here. And let's just move this out a bit. Okay, and if you want to see more of these lines that are actually showing you the difference in heights, when you go finish, you can go here to model site, open up this site settings dialog, and here it's set to five meters. So we have one of these indicator lines uh, once every five meters, but we can change this to something lower. So let's do it at one meter. So now it looks kind of more realistic for a site plan. Now let's go into 3D to see what that looks like and I'm quite happy with, with this. And now the first thing we need to do, we need to create a building pad. That's this over here. So you just go building pad and then again I'm going to go back into site plan. And here you can see we can't really see the walls because we have our roof over it. So I'm just going to go here and go into wireframe graphic display option and now we can see it and now I'm just going to be using this pick lines tool or perhaps something even faster for a situation like this is a rectangle. So you place one rectangle here, one here, a couple of lines here and then just use the split tool for this and the trim and extend tool to connect everything. So once that's done, just go finish. And now this is your building pad. Now let's model the road. But before we start cutting out our topo surface to place a road, we need to kind of draw it out or plot it out to see where will the actual road go. So let's say we want our road to go kind of like this in an U-turn. And to do that, let's go here into annotation and let's use detail line. So you can go here to detail line or you can use the shortcut DL and now you can place detail lines. So I'm just going to place one line like so, maybe like that, and kind of exiting like this. Now again I'm going to go into detail line, use the offset tool, and let's offset by, I don't know, four meters. I know that's a bit small for a car, but or for two cars, but that doesn't matter for this video. And now again in detail line let's use this fillet arc tool to fillet this to I don't know, 6 meters is the radius as far as I remember. And for this let's do 10 because that's 6 plus 4. And here let's do something like 10. Okay, and let's do the 14 for this one. Okay, this looks like a realistic road. Realistic enough at least. So now let's cut out our surface to create this actual road. So to do that, I'm going to go here to Massing and Sight and now go to Split Surface. So once I select this, I need to select the surface I'm going to be splitting. So I'm going to select this one. And now I need to create my road. So I can use the Pick Lines tool for that. And let's just pick these lines that we have already placed. Now you can see why the benefits of 
placing the, these detail lines and now just by using trim and extend let's extend this and you can leave this open that just means that you're cutting the surface in two surfaces basically and you, when you finish you can select this and this road is now a different surface as you can see now let's do the actual sidewalk and for that let's go back into side plan and go into split surface again select this surface because we're splitting it again and now I want my sidewalk to go all the way around the house and the fo to follow this road over here so I'm just going to use the pick lines tool to select the road again then go all the way around this parking lot all the way around the house and then all the way back now once this is finished you can go into offset and set an offset to one meter that's fine for a sidewalk for a small house and then let's do the sidewalk on this side and on this side as well so when you've kinda of placed it like this yeah you can do it like that do this line okay this is enough now we can split this line here in half and now let's just trim and extend everything in place and because this inner surface is already cut off now we can just delete these lines because we don't really need them we don't need these inside lines so once you have this you just go finish and you can see now if we select it we have our curb over here so if I go into 3d let's just cancel out of this I can either either select the road or my curb okay so once this is completed we need to do some adjustments we want this curb to have some thickness and we want it to go up a bit we want to extend it kinda up to be poking out of the surface and how are we going to do that first I'm not going to be using this surface just like this as a surface I need to turn it into 3d and the easiest way to turn it into 3d is to select it go here into Revit or this start menu and go into export and export it as DWG but you just want to export this curb so what you're going to do is you're going to select it go here and isolate it so just go isolate element and you get something that looks like this we don't really need this either so let's hide element yeah so we only have our curb selected so now once this is only selected or visible you go here to export and export it into CAD so go DWG next let's save it at desktop let's just leave the name go OK and go leave temporary hide isolate so once this is done you can just kinda leave it in temporary hide isolate and you need to create an in place mass now once you've created a new mass just go escape let's call it mass 1 now you're going to import your DWG here so you're just going to go to insert import CAD select this project and here it is now the reason why you've done this is because now this CAD insert is actually selectable and we can select it as a mass surface so what we can do now is when we go finish mass this warning is completely unimportant we can use this mass to create a roof so we can just categorize our roof to be concrete or whatever this curve would be and then it, this, this actual surface will become a 3d element so I'm just going to go here to massing and site go roof and let's create a new roof so let's duplicate this one let's call it generic number two let's edit this down to 0.2 meters and let's add some I don't know some concrete material yeah let's use this one go ok 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 and now we need to select everything and you go create roof and when you zoom in you can see now it has a thickness it's actually a roof so now we can select this 3D element and we can use level offset and let's offset it by its thickness or 0.2 meters and it's now applied and now when we go into reset temporary height isolate and let's turn on some realistic mode we can see as you can see now we have some curb thickness 
and now we can select our actual curb or mass and delete it select this and delete surface we don't need it okay so now let's select our road surface and you can do the same thing you did with the curb but in this instant I don't really want to so I'm just going to change the material to asphalt so it can be used as a road as okay asphalt bitumen okay okay and let's change this site to some grass now I don't like using grass as you can see here we have this grass and this plant and this plant is way nicer color so I like to use that instead and as you can see we have our massing and it looks great and let's just create a curb over here for a realistic look and to do that we have this roof surface this is actually categorized as roof so if we go into architecture if we open up this roof and we have this roof fascia so if we create a roof fascia profile that actually looks like a curb we can place it all around this surface over here so I'm just going to go into start menu new new family let's create a profile family so go here profile metric profile open it up here we have our profile use lines and let's use the 0.2 meters or 200 millimeters that's the height let's use something like this yeah so that looks like a curb I guess and now let's load this into the project it's called family one doesn't matter and now if I go into 3d and go here into roof fascia select my fascia go into edit type and change the profile here to family one that's the profile I just created go apply okay and just go back here and change the material to something white I'm just going to choose gypsum wallboard because I know that's white but I'm guessing you're going to pick out the material that's actually correct for your model and now you can just start placing it over here and you just go all the way around I know it's a bit boring because you have to place every single one but it looks quite realistic okay so now this curb is done and then just to finish it off you can go to massing and site perhaps add some plants or whatever but you get the point okay so this is how you create a site plan in Revit that has a road and a sidewalk with a realistic looking curb okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day